Lamps. All right, here we go. We're gonna replace an Epson lamp. This is for Epson projectors only. There's a couple different models, but basically the lamps all go in the same way, and we're gonna show you how to do this. Now basically the key thing is we have to know, we have to make sure we have the right projector. So if we give you a lamp, we need to know the projector type. In order to find the projector type, they're on the front of all these on the bottom. This is a Powerlight 822. Uh, it's important to have the right model number so we can get you the right lamp. Uh, there are three different types of lamps right now. So the right model number will get you the right lamp. So what the lamp box will look like, just crack it open. There's a whole bunch of paper in here. If you uh, want to read it, you can. I don't. I'm going to throw this over here. There's a little screwdriver in here too if you want it. I also don't use that, but if you want to, you can. First thing you're gonna do is just gonna take off the, uh, the cover to the projector. So the lamp area and all these projectors is in the back in the same place here. So there's one singular screw to take this cover off. Boom, cover's off. And inside here, we're gonna get a look up in, inside here. There are two screws on either side. There's one up in here and there's one up in here. What I'm gonna do without damaging my camera person is unscrew these. And all you have to do, if you notice, there's two, basically a thumb and finger spot here, is pull this down. And I always leave one thread left, apparently. So screw a little more. And just pull this straight down. And I'm awesome. I don't want to unscrew it all the way. There we go. And that comes straight out. Now, usually on these Epsons, this one clearly pops. Has lots of little shaker stuff in there. But this is a dead lamp. We do recycle these. So make sure you uh, talk to your custodian about recycling those properly. <clears throat> Here's our new lamp. There's only one way this lamp's gonna go in. So if we look up in here again, if you notice, there's a shape, there's a little edge here on the lamp. This has the same edge. I'm just gonna line this up, push this in. I'm gonna stop there for a second. Don't stop recording. No, no, no. This is the other thing I do, I'm moving too fast. I just like to blow out the uh, dust in here. That projector's pretty clean, but you might as well just blow it out while it's open. Back to me. All right. Here we go. Just push that straight up in, and then we're gonna tighten the two screws we loosened previously. Put our door back on. We'll come back around here. Door right here. We'll slide in. And we tighten. Now at this point, your lamp is replaced. But I do clean out the filter uh, on the Epsons. If you want to come around here, uh, it depends on the model. Some of them are on the side. You'll see a big bracket. This model and the 822. The filter is actually sitting right on top of the, the lens area here. So I'll pull this out. I'll be nice to take this to a trash can. Okay, so I just cleaned out the filter and I just put it right back in here again. I'd unplug this one. Um, it's up to you if you want to unplug it or not before you do it. As long as you're not jamming things in there, you'll be okay. But once you plug it back in, the projector will fire up. Now, last thing here that we're going to do, uh, we're going to stop here in a moment, and then I'll show you where it's at on the menu, is uh, just that we ask you for the, um, the lamp hours. So two things we have to do. We have to clear out the lamp hours and, um, and reset them, and then also record those so we can keep track of how many hours we're getting on these lamps. So you'll see that here in a moment. All right, now what we're going to do is show you how to reset the lamp hours. So come up in here. Uh, if you have the remote, you can use that. Um, obviously, this is easy because it's pretty close. But uh, you just hit the menu button right here. It's going to bring up your menu, and what I'm going to do is, uh, we'll show the screen here. Using, actually show the hour, hour, arrows again up here, if you could. Just use the arrows here to move through, keeping in mind you're backwards because this projector is upside down. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down to uh, info. What we're looking for are the combined hours here. 
So we'll add that up, record that down for the room. This is an 822 projector, and that's what we'll put it in the Google form that's going to be linked on this video here. So that's what we're looking for. So we record that first, and then we go down to resetting of lamp hours, which I'm going to reset the lamp hours. If I reset all, it will actually reset the projector back to a factory default, and then the image will be upside down and all that. So go down, I'm going to reset lamp hours, hit the little return button, ask me if I'm sure. I am sure. And then uh, that's it. We're done. And that's basically the down and dirty of how to replace an Epson lamp. Uh, because I'm talking through it, usually this takes about like three to four minutes to get in here. So you can get in between periods or lunch break or something like that. If it's mission critical for the teacher, the key thing is honestly, we do want to blow out the projector. So if there are kids in here, you don't want to be blowing dust all over them. Um, that would be it. But that's pretty much straightforward. And that is only for the Epson's uh, the 83s, the 822s, the 825s, the 905s, and 95s. Basically, any Epson model is how you do this. The NECs are a little bit different only because the door is actually on top and underneath the mount. Uh, that's a different video on another day. But this is how you do an Epson. So, hopefully, this helps. Lamps.